Our lesson today is creating a full hoop stipple around an embroidery design in PE Design Next. Step one is selecting our design settings, which is our hoop. So left click in the ribbon on design settings, select your machine type. Today I'm using single needle and my 8x8 eight eight hoop. So left click on that, select, and OK. The next step is to create a rectangle shape to fill the hoop. So left click on rectangle circle arc, select the rectangle tool, left click and drag diagonally across our hoop, release when we're happy with the size. Now in this particular design we do not need an outline, the satin stitch, so all we need to do is left click on our outline tool and that will turn it off. That's a one-time toggle on, one-time toggle off. Step two is importing the embroidery design that we would like to use. Go back to your home tab and in the ribbon select import patterns. I'm selecting from design library today so left click on design library and I'll take this little flower right here. So just double left click. That can be found by the way in the categories. You can use the drop down and select these are our built in designs and close that. Now I'm also going to resize my flower so go to the toolbar edit in the ribbon resize select the size I'm choosing 5 inches and select tab and OK. Now you can see my embroidery design on the filled background the next step is to go back to my home tab and select the line region tool. So use the drop down menu, select the close curve, and you can go as close as you like. I'm going to just go around a few little things here just to show you, but you can go as close as you want. I'm just coming out to the high points and into the low points and left clicking on each of those. And double left click closes. Now we can see the two portions that we've created. Here's our square background. Um, step number one. Step number five is the outline of the flower that we created. So the next step is to left click on portion one, hold your control key, left click on portion five, right click and select objects, and then under the edit tab click remove overlap in the ribbon bar and you'll see that our hole will be cut out of the background as you can see in step number one so now all we have to do is on step number five select um, by left clicking right click select object and hit delete on your keyboard and now we have a nice hole around the flower Left click now on step number one and change the fill, stip, fill stitch to a stippling stitch by left clicking. And there we have a stipple around the flower. Now you can also change the size of your stipple over in the sewing attributes and that would be done with spacing and it's um, real live time here so you can change and you'll see it instantly on your screen. So there you go. We've created a full hoop stipple around an embroidery design in PE Design Next.